Hey guys, and today I will be reviewing my FM12s. I will be going over a few other things like why the nose cone or the PSM was coloured white later on, and uh, let's just go over a quick view of over the mask. You see here, this is the normal FM12 as you can see. You see it has the dating on the side. On the left hand side you see there's some white markings. This was an ex-police so it could be to do with the issue number etc. So it's dated 2005. You see there's a front. There's the inlet valve with the FM12. There's usually two if it's the dual port and I'll get onto that as well. As you see this one does have a marking on the drinking tube says FM12. But my other one doesn't. And I'll be talking about that. See inside you see it's got an aura nasal cup, the drinking straw on this and the S10 are moved as well as the eyepieces are different but overall it's slightly different. You see there, there's a head harness which is made of a nice fabric material. It's a lot more comfy than the standard S10 design of a rubber harness, head harness. And uh, yeah. a quick overview of the black FM12 I'm going to move on to the white FM12 obviously the main difference is the PSM primary speech module is white there is a reason why this is white and I also you can see that the drinking tube has no markings there's the inhale valve and there's a size 1 which means it's the largest they only made these in 3 sizes 1, 2, 3 one being the largest, three being the small, two medium. See, so it says Avon CBRN. This is the single port, which I believe is a later version. It could be earlier, I'm not too sure. But also, here's the dating Avon 2005. Is the inside of the mask pretty much the same? It still has the uh, same, you know, covered head harness, and yeah. I'm just going to quickly go over the uh, reason why they have a colored PSM primary speed module. The reason why, thanks to Aiden and a few of the people at GMCC. I want to thank for the info, but mainly it's because apparently there isn't a specific designation, but they were mainly just to mainly designated to Air Force and the police forces as well. But I know that they also used to have like uh, blue meant civilian, and they used to just have blue little dots on top of the head piece. But these are just easier to uh, stand out and recognize, and yeah. I'm just going to quickly compare the two. As you see, they are dated exactly the same, 2005. But the obvious difference, as you can see, is the dual port and the single port. I'm not too sure why they had this on uh, some FM12s, but mainly I'm guessing for cars to keep it down. Um, you see, the dual, this is the dual port. Obviously, it removes, removes quite simply, and it's very cleverly designed SST, which is removable. Simply unscrew it and the threads on the FM12 are a lot smaller and are less longer than the S10 so it's easy to screw things in as you can see there exposes another inhale uh, assembly this is the inside of it, this is the outside obviously it uses the same threads, the 40mm NATO it can be screwed in any side or you can just remove it to have dual filters which is a good design I think in my opinion as you can see obviously on the single port you cannot remove it if it just has lettering, scissors, a lot of numbers, Avon, CBRN etc my normal black FM12 filter came with this uh, filter which is the PS10 which I believe that this was actually made for S10 respirators so I'm not too sure if this is correct i just like to say that my the reason why my FM12 
the normal FM12, the black one. It was ex British police, so it has writing on the side. I'm guessing this is to the so they can track down when it was issued and who to, like kind of like a lot number, etc. You see, this is the mask with the filter on. It looks pretty cool. Now onto the drinking tube. This mask does have a drinking tube, unlike the CT12. But this, as you can see, is a very long and improved version of the S10 drinking system, which is the same. The only difference is it's slightly longer uh, tube, as you can clearly see, and it's also the shutter off valve for the drinking device is slightly moved. To wrap it around, simply wrap it around the PSM groove, and you just plug it in the bottom with a little hole. I was given this canteen a few months ago and it actually turns out this would be a canteen that the FM12 would use. You see you simply pop open the top, once you pop it open as you can see there's a shutter valve in there, similar to how a basketball works kind of. Um, you obviously the drinking tube pushes in and it opens it up, this system where you can drink. Overall the FM12 is a pretty good mask, a much better improvement over the S10. These masks were used for law enforcement in the UK and the US and also the Danish, Dutch and Luxembourg uh, military use this mask today I believe. Overall I give this mask a very good rating and I recommend it to anyone as it is a much better improvement over the S10.